Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art here. Today I'm having a bit of a play with a MDF butterfly that I cut out. So if you want to see how they are done, it's the same way as I did the dolphins the other day, which is in video number ooh, 88 I think. So yeah. If you go back and have a look at that, you'll be able to see. So I'm putting pillow paint down first, which is British paint, slow sheen. And we will cover the whole surface. The whole surface. Okay. What I'll do is give that a bit of a spin just to level it all out. Okay, now what I'll usually do is just touch up around the edges, make sure the edge has some paint on it, so when the stuff on the top flows off, it should stick to the edge as it all flows off. So just go around the edge. So all you're doing is wetting that it so it covers everything. If my fingers weren't so fat, I'd be able to get them in the hole, but what do you do? Near enough is pretty much close enough because as I spin this out with all the colours on, it's gonna spread out again anyway and flow over the edge. Okie dokie. I'll get rid of some of this excess off here. Hopefully you can hear me well because it's absolutely pouring down with rain here yet again. Rainiest place on earth. Wipe my hands. Gonna turn off notifications on my phone because it's ding, 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 dinging. Okay. I'm gonna get my little butane torch and just pop some bubbles that are in that pillow paint. Just like that. Now, we'll start putting some colours down. So, I think I might put a carbon black down first. About there. So what I'm thinking about doing is doing a couple of blooms on this one. And then 
I'm modifying them. Yeah, right, let's start with carbon black. I'm going to put down some interference colours around the place. So I'll go with sequins by this little piggy. That's it. But I also want to just randomly put it in other places. So when I modify it, you'll be able to see sequins pop up in other little parts of the, the butterfly. What else should we use? We've got an interference blue, which is by Perlex. Just laying that around randomly. That way we should have multicolored interference colors when you tilt it in the light. And it should be ghost like type um, colors that pop up. All right, we'll go with some day glow pink. Submarine, let's buy this little piggy. Pebio Green Blue. It's a little bit thick that one, but it should still be fine. You can pretty much get away with murder on these. If they're a little bit too thick, it's not too bad. What else should we put down? Some fairy floss by this little piggy. Some Pebio Green Yellow. Yep. And some Hustle by this little piggy. Some of those bubbles that are there. <coughs> okay, we'll get some cell activator, which is Amsterdam lamp black. Mixed with water. No flow troll. Just move those across a bit. Alright, we'll start with the big one first. Okay. 
that one down. Grab my mini blower. So you blow down into the center. Get the cell activator to spread out a bit. Go to the other little puddle, put some in there. Give that one a blow. Start up high. Get the puddle to spread out a little bit. And just Change your angle and spread it across. Takes a bit of practice with these little blowers, especially because there's a cord on it, so it sort of gets in the way a bit. But it's all fun. And the move. Just wait for those cells to pop up where the cell activator is the thickest in the middle there. It'll eventually sink. So while we're waiting for that, we'll give this other side a bit of a blow. Helps bring the cells up a little bit easier. that. I'll grab the torch again, just make sure there's no bubbles floating around. And then we'll grab, skew up, have a bit of a play. So in the white, there's all interference colours that are all mixed up in there. So we can go like that through all the interference colours first. Then for the blooms, let me go in, put some crazy patterns through. Now most of this is going to spin off, there's still a lot of paint left there. In the centre of here, right through the middle. Drag some colours up into it. Okay. Drag some through there.
Now, we'll give that a bit of a spin. Lift that up, move the cup. Now just go nice and slow. You don't have to go 100 mile an hour. Just nice and gentle. That way everything sp spreads out nice and evenly across it. Now the thing with blooms, if you're putting two side by side, the the force of when it's been spun out isn't even. So you're gonna have one side bigger than the other on your blooms. Pretty much unavoidable. I mean, you can move each bloom over, but by the time you do that, the other one's way out of whack. So if you give that a bit of a spin, like that, so it moved across a little bit, and that one moved a lot further over. So there's no point really trying to keep them in the middle. It doesn't sort of work when you do it with these, because they're so far apart. So well, we've still got a bit of paint on. We can go in and add other little bits. Drag colours up this section if you like. Entirely up to you. Give that a bit more of a spin. The other way, just to even it up. Okay. Pop this up. So now you've got two blooms that are modified on a butterfly. So we'll put that one down. Always make sure you scrape off underneath where the drips are, otherwise it drags all your paint off the top. You just go around the edge. Like so. Alright guys, hope you like that one. Um, Click like, share, and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. That way you get to see all my videos as I release them. Give that a go. That's heaps of fun. Um, you can get pre-made up wooden cutouts and things like that. I usually just sand the edges and give it a bit of a dust off and then just pour over the top. It works every time, so. The thicker you go, with the MDF 
the better. You got less chance of it warping. But um, I think that's about nine mil thick. This one, and they dry pretty good, so there's no warping and things like that in it. Okie dokie. That's it for today. Have fun. Take care. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.